Good morning. We will pay attention to the issue of shares today and the share capital of a company. First of all, it is very important to distinguish between authorized share capital and issued share capital. Authorized share capital of a company, for instance, may consist of a million or his shares. So that means the total number of shares that they can issue is a million. The authorized share capital is the maximum number of shares that can be issued. They cannot issue more than a million shares. This authorized share capital is never used in calculations. The only place that you will ever use your authorized share capital is in the note for share capital that will accompany the balance sheet. Issued share capital is the number of ordinary shares that was already issued. And you multiply that number with the price per share, so at the price that you sold the shares originally. You use the issued share capital for calculations. So if you have to determine what is your ordinary share capital balance, you will take the issued shares and multiply it with the price per share. If you have to calculate dividends, you will use the number of issued shares to multiply with the dividends to determine what is the amount that must be paid back. If there's a buyback of shares, you will use this issued share capital to do those calculations. Now, if we look at this blue ball, this is like a cake. And this full cake is the total number of shares that the company can issue. So in this blue ball, there is a million shares. Now, if we look at the issue of shares, we will see here that on 1 March 2012, 100,000 shares were issued at 2 rand each. So that means they've taken out of this cake a slice and they issued 100,000 shares. Now there's still 900,000 shares left over in the cake. When they did this entry on the 1st of March, they multiplied the number of shares that they sold, the 100,000, with the price per share, 2 rand, to determine that the total capital that they received from the shareholders at that time was 200,000 rand. So the ordinary share capital account was credited. So remember, capital is an equity. Equity increases on the credit side and decreases on the debit side. So ordinary share capital was credited with this 200,000 to show that the capital in this business is worth 200,000 shares. Then in 2013, they decided they need more money because they want to expand the business and they decided to sell an additional 400,000 ordinary shares. So out of this cake, they've taken 400,000 shares. So the first lot that they sold was 100,000. Now they are selling 400,000. So you multiply the 400,000 with the 3 rand, and that means the total capital that came in out of the issue of the shares is 1,2 million. You will increase your share capital again with the 1,2 million. And that means that the total capital in this business at this stage is 1,4 million. If we look at the cake, how many shares did we already sell? We've already sold 500,000 shares. So how many shares can they sell in the future? 700 that's left over. Okay, so it's very important to distinguish between the issued share capital and the authorized share capital. The authorized share capital is this blue bull that consists of a million shares. And you will never use that to do any recordings. 
you will go and look every time how many shares were already issued and then on the number of shares that was issued, you will do all your calculations. Now, if you think of a sole trader and a partnership, you also had a capital account. In a company, we don't only call it capital because a company can have different types of share that provide the capital of the business. So they have ordinary shares, preference shares, cumulative preference shares, redeemable preference shares. And because they sell different types of shares to obtain the capital of the business, they have to indicate which type of shares provided this 1,4 million. Now, what did we learn today? Authorized share capital is the maximum number of shares that you can sell. This authorized share capital is never used in calculations. The only place that you will ever use it is in the note for share capital that will accompany the balance sheet. Issued share capital is the number of shares that was already issued. The issued share capital is used to calculate the dividends on the ordinary share capital.